is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's sounds good to me. Yesterday, uh, I came into my streams with the best of intentions and a very positive attitude. In fact, I, I was very excited <laughs> yesterday to be celebrating a 200 vest celebration. That's a milestone. It's a huge milestone. I never suspected we'd hit 100, and here we are celebrating 200. Um, you know. And some people liked it, and some people didn't. And it's one thing to criticize, and it's another thing to just be, like, such a negative influence, you know. People are just, like, negative, negative, negative. It actually got to me pretty bad, to the point where it totally changed my demeanor for the rest of the day. And I came to the second stream, the Street Fighter stream, really feeling down. I have incredibly thick skin. You know, and to some point, I said, well, what do you mean? Were you depressed? I mean, yeah, I was. I mean, being honest with all of you, it actually really completely changed my mood for the rest of the day, where I was I was going into it with a real positive attitude. <laughs> and by the time that I came back for the second stream of Street Fighter, I was like, wow, people didn't like the show, people were very upset, I am i don't feel good about this, I think this is the end of the streak, I think the streak's gonna end now, all the positivity that we've had with the, with the vest gimmick over the past four months is dead. Like, seriously, in my head, I was coming back to stream with that in my head. And that's not good, you know, I, obviously, I know better than that, I know better than to let myself be affected by a, a few negative people on a stream, but it really did, it got to me. And, you know, during last night's Street Fighter stream, we talked for about, I'd say about a half an hour straight, about <clears throat> the negative reaction to what happened during that 200 vest celebration and everything. And, essentially, there's two schools of thought. One school is that it was just criticism. And, I mean, I understand that. I understand criticism. Okay, we wish that we were something better on, on the event or whatever. But there's a difference between... Okay, you could do some better stuff. Here's some examples of things we'd like to see. Versus, you suck. Your content sucks. This is boring. Um, you know, you don't deserve your success. And that's basically, you know, that's what happens. Is like it gets so overly overbearing with nonsense. You know, I'm very sensitive to this stuff, and I can't take it. And uh, you know, I'll be emotionally hurt by this all day long because you guys had this really stick it to me on the pre-stream here today, guys. And you know, I can roll with the punches to some extent. <laughs> But now when there's people literally here just to shit constantly on the stream. You guys gotta understand that's the difference. Okay, Phil's playing Ghost of Tsushima today. Don't, I don't personally really like that game, but I'm gonna watch him play it and make it my active duty the entire stream to complain how boring it is. Well, maybe that's not the most productive use of your time. You know what I mean? I don't have a lot of time to plan these out. I hope you guys understand that. Like, I'm still here the six days a week full-time putting out the content. It's not like, oh, I took a day off to plan this, right? <laughs> I'm basically trying to cram stuff in in between everything else that I'm doing. All right, and seriously, like, I'm really just trying to do stuff above and beyond my normal streaming stuff. I hope you guys understand that, you know, I really am doing my best. And then when finally, you know, I actually planned out this 200 vest celebration for a bit. I was like, I'm going to order multiple vests, you know, I'm going to try to do it so that I can plan some stuff for my streaming future. We can talk about it, we'll have a positive attitude about it. <laughs> and by the way, <clears throat> this is the third vest celebration. This wasn't the first one. So it wasn't like you guys didn't know what it was going to be. We've done two of these before. And to see people come on the stream and literally just be like, this is boring, all he's doing is talking, what is this? It's like, dude, we've done these already. How do you come to the stream not knowing what it is yet? I don't just, I, you know, sometimes it just blows my mind. Like, people are expecting the world or something from me. I don't know what you want. What else can we milk out of fucking Phil? He's only here six days a week the entire fucking day streaming. To me, I don't know what you guys are expecting, you know? Now, by the way, it wasn't everyone doing this. It was, I'd say, probably about a dozen people. And the sad part is that some of these are stream regulars. I actually did. I put as much effort in as I could between everything else I was doing, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. You gotta be more reasonable and less demanding. And I'm sorry, I've just gotta kind of be honest here and vent a little bit. People have to be more realistic at this point. That, you know, I'm a guy who already, I feel, I don't, I'm not getting enough time with my family. God damn, dude. That's depressing as fuck. Okay, so I'm having a ton of fun with the game. And then I go to the stream chat. This game's boring. Play it on hard. This game's boring. Play it on hard. This game's boring. Play it on hard. What the fuck? If you don't like it, you don't have to be here sitting here shitting constantly. Alright? You don't. You don't have to just unload your ass on the stream constantly. Oh. Benefit. Oh. And, uh, There's other things you could be doing with your time that are more, more productive. Because it does get to me. 
it does. And, you know, I don't want that. I don't want it to negatively affect myself or my streams. Because you got 12 people who like to sit here and just shit. You know? Honestly, you guys have to promise not to make fun of me. Because I'm very sensitive. You guys know this. I'm very, very sensitive. And if you guys say anything to hurt my feelings on pre-stream, I may cry. Okay? I'm open to criticism. Please, by all means, tell me how to improve. But don't just say, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. Or if I'm playing a game like Ghost of Tsushima, well, make it way more difficult so that you stop having fun. Because that's the only way we're going to have fun. All right? Well, guess what? If that's the case, you're not here for the right reasons. I've told people this time and time again over the years. I'm not a gamer who's sitting here to punish myself constantly. Phil, you should play this game that's made purposely annoying and, and difficult. Yeah, well, why? <laughs> I'll be honest, if I wasn't, if I wasn't getting paid for this, I wouldn't be playing this game. I understand that there's a viewing audience that likes to just see me fail, or rage, or suffer. I get that. That will always be there. I play games, right? Like Dark Souls. I play games that are very difficult to me, franchises that I'm not good at, on purpose. So that that kind of content exists. Ghost of Tsushima is not meant to be Dark Souls. And you gotta understand that, that sometimes a certain small group of people can actually dominate a lot of stuff. Just because of the, their mentality or the way that they, they present themselves. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. I have people post it on Twitter. Phil, look how shitty your, your stream was today because look at this. And they quote three different screen captures of the chat. It's the same five people shitting on the stream all day. I'm like, yeah, you're right. The same five people sat here shitting on the stream all day. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't want to ban them because if I ban them, then I get told that I'm a Nazi and I'm an asshole. And, I, you know, look how I treat my fans. I'm Hitler. But I'm not the Hitler of gaming. What a stupid question. All right, enough of this idiot. You know, I don't know how you could call someone a fan who literally sat here for four hours and just complained. That's not a fan, right? A fan wouldn't do that. A fan would say, okay, improve this way. All right, I don't like this. I'm out of here. I'll come back later. Now, I will sit here and actively shit on you for five hours. You know? That's not a fan. See, and here you are. Here's the trolls. Oh, what effort? Cru cruising through games on easy? I'm not playing on easy. I'm playing on default. The intended difficulty of a game, you have to stop telling me that I have to change everything that I am as a person, as a gamer, to cater towards one kind of content because that's only what you want. That is the most self-entitled, demanding, greedy attitude to have as a viewer, and I am not going to tolerate it. <laughs> I have people who tell me they like what I do. They want me to continue doing interactive gameplay. They want me to enjoy, enjoy good games. Not make every game a torturous fucking situation. Alright, if you don't like that, fine. Don't come to the streams where you feel that's the case. And I like constructive feedback. I didn't get any constructive feedback yesterday. I was just told, you didn't put in effort. Your 200 vest streaks celebration sucked. Oh, uh, but that's the, the best insult you can use is to tell someone to their face the truth and they just weren't ready for it. Because they've been so lied to, or they've been so had their ass kissed. You know what I mean? That finally they get the truth, and they're like, oh my god. You don't have to go out of your way to insult someone. You don't have to fucking, you know, pull out pull out all the stops or nothing. Just tell them something that they don't want to face the reality of, and that will hurt them. Well, not hurt them, but that will make them be shocked more than anything else. Now, here we go. Again, Eastside Grease job, you've been banned multiple times. All right, well, excuse me. You've been talked to multiple times about being negative. Listen to what he just said. People tell you how to improve and you call them mentally ill, dunderheaded idiots. Like, that's not true. It's just not. You should know better. You should be a better person than that. You shouldn't just crap on people constantly because you can. Instead, you should say, all right, well, here's something constructive instead of, well, when I tell you something constructive, you call everyone a dunderheaded idiot. It's not true. Sure. People criticizing me for the vest streak. I didn't create the vest streak, but God forbid I bring it up, right? God forbid I bring it up because then now Phil's greedy. Like, wait, what? What? How does me pushing for the continuation of something you guys like and promoting something you guys want become greedy? Now I'm being told I whine for hours. Okay, well, goodbye. I'm just going to fucking ban everybody. <laughs> it's going to be a very simple situation where I just go ban, 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 and that's it. Yeah, I, do I have thick skin? Yeah, I do. Let me tell you guys. With the amount of shit that gets said about me every single day, I have to have the th some of the thickest skin on the internet. Fuck you. You're a liar. I am working hard. I swear to you. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. Just because 
I'm a guy who plays games all day doesn't mean that I'm not trying. I really am. And it really is mentally draining to work as much as I do. <laughs> People just basically shat on the idea. How dare you have a double, a double uh, requirement to do a double vest reveal or whatever, you know? You know, despite the fact that, I mean, yes, I was teasing you guys the whole time about the red vest. I, I mean, you guys obviously knew it existed. You saw it on camera, right? I was trying to tease you guys about it to make you get excited for it. You yeah, these these fuckers slurp it up like fucking noodles, like hype. Oh, ooh, I gotta eat it. Gotta eat it. Gotta eat the hype. Oh, ugh. You know, I did my best the whole week to try to hype it up. And I guess a lot of people just didn't like that for whatever reason. I don't know, man. What it is is greed. That's all it is. It's greed. Lazy and greedy. Gerard Crow cheered and he said, In my opinion, the issue with the red vest is everyone knew about it. We saw it during the drama last week. You still put it behind a $200 paywall. All right. That's, I mean, you want to say that's a criticism? Great. I understand that. Okay, I get that. But that's what the vest streak is. Like, isn't the whole idea of the vest streak is that we hit a tips goal, and as a celebratory event, I put on a vest, right? Like, that's how this started. The tips goal existed before the vest, remember? I think the problem is people are now confusing the content. The main focus of my streams is to put out fun gameplay, to be interactive, to be entertaining, and to feel that I put out something that's meaningful to you guys, whether it's an interactive conversation we have, whether it's a quality of gameplay, whether it's somewhere in between a mix, right? That's what I'm, I'm striving for. That I am a content creator. I am not a vest wearer and revealer. And I think, sadly, at some point, people got these things confused. That, well, because we supported Phil for four months, he should just be putting revealing vests and putting on vests. Like, what are you talking about? That's not the point. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I think that the whole thing, it gets to a point where it gets out of hand and people forget what it, what it is. You know what I mean? This, I didn't turn on a stream to reveal vests all day. So when you say, you put the vest between a $200 paywall, that's exactly the same as you saying you put your cap behind a $1,000 paywall. You know? No, I didn't. That's 100% a lie. No, I didn't. I, you know, there's, this is a way of saying thank you for all of your support. Let's celebrate and do something silly. This is not, you paid me for me to put on a vest. Why did you do that then? You missed the whole point of what I do. If that's what you did. And I mean, I'm sorry if that's what some people do. I only paid for Phil to put on a vest. Then I guess you missed the point of what I'm here for. Because I could just completely eliminate the vests from my streams. At any point if I want to. And I'm still going to be here streaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think it's time to take a step back and realize this is not the vest paywall session. This is the fun gameplay interactive stream with Phil session that has a silly vest he puts on if people are supportive because people have asked for that. There's a big difference there. <laughs> okay. Um, Cousins Ventures, in my personal opinion, the vest has gotten out of control. It's taken away from gameplay and watching you play the games. It's kind of turned people off. I myself have turned the vest out. Well, here's the thing. Again, this is why I've been saying this. I don't want the end-all and be-all of my streams to be the stupid vest. And I say it. It is. It's stupid. Everyone knows it's stupid. The vest is not important. The vest was supposed to be a silly gimmick that could be a, a running meme, something that becomes part of my streams, but isn't the end-all, be-all of my streams. That's why when Gerard Crow earlier said, you put a $200 paywall to see a vest. I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no paywall. Fuck you. No, and I mean that too, sincerely. From me, fuck you. The, you're supposed to be supporting the content of the streams. You like me as a person. You like the content I put out. I'm contributing to that goal. Oh, we just so happened to raise $200 today. I'll put on a vest as a silly thank you. It's not supposed to be you're making me pay $200 to see a vest. If that's the case, you're doing it wrong. You've misconstrued the purpose of my streams, and you need to take a step back and reassess the reason you're here. That is ludicrous. Oh, I gotta take a sip. A negative chatter again did a hundred bit cheer and said, I never said anything about an offshore account, but 200 streaks is $20,000. You can't get a $50 webcam with that. No. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. 200 streaks is $20,000. No, it's not. 200 streaks means that we hit a tips goal 200 times. You actually have no idea or have no concept of what I raised. All you can do is guess. You don't know how much of that was a processing fee with uh, PayPal. You don't know behind the scenes how much of that got charged back and how much, you know, I actually kept or pocketed. This is not Phil raised $20,000 in excess of what he always made. That's not true. That's not true at all. You know? What it is is, yes, there is some excess, but it's not 
I love this number people come up with. It's insanity. $20,000? Like, <laughs> it's such a ridiculous thing to say. And once you give that money, it's gone. You have to understand that. You gave the money, it's gone. There's no guarantee anything's going to happen. There's no contract. You can't sue that person for it. You gave that money, really, it's done. There's no, oh, he stole, he ran. No, you gave it. You actively chose to give. Therefore, that money is now going to that person, and hopefully you're trusting that person to do what they've said or make the right decision. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.